So, uh, welcome everyone. It's September 22nd, 2022. Uh, we are in week, f oh my God, is it week five or week six? I've lost track. We're in week five. I can see by the Slack channels. Um, any announcements from the team? So while we're waiting for anyone on the team to unmute and go to announcements, uh, we had a interim submission yesterday. Non-technical is coming up as well. Um, assignments are being returned, uh, contracts were due, and payments, they're due. Um, so a reminder on that, if you have any issues, reach back out to Everest or someone else on the team. You can reach out to Ablai or to, um, to Everest. You can reach out to me as well. And we're going to do our stand-up, but I'm just going to ask again, any announcements from the team? Okay, we have any announcements, Everest? I think you said it. You said it, okay. Any football announcements, Everest? Anything good happening in the world with Arsenal? We are in the international break. Okay. okay. Uh, All right. So then I don't everyone, know if I understand that. <laughs> I, I don't actually understand it. I, I know very little about football, which I'm happy. Means, I'm, very, I'm very happy to say that. It means like prayers are praying for their national teams. Ah, because of the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Who, which African teams uh, qualified? I guess Senegal and I don't know others, but Senegal qualified. It's my favorite team. Did Ethiopia qualify? Kenya? <laughs> no, 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 no. No? Okay. Um... I don't think we have anyone from Senegal on the call, so I don't know if we can really ask them how they're doing. Did Rwanda qualify too? Someone For the World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> it's not... Even for, the, the, even for the African Cup of Nations, we don't qualify. <laughs> does, does the national team... In, <laughs> does the national team... <laughs> Does the national team of Rwanda qualify for the Cup of Rwanda? <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah, they, they come first in the Cup of Rwanda. <laughs> All right, okay, let's let's jump into the stand-up. So I want to hear how people are doing, um, any blockers, any issues, what people are working on. So usual stand-up format. So who wants to go first? We're going to go around the room, one minute. Good chance to practice speaking um, while people are putting their hands up. Very happy to say we're seeing movement in batch five. Jobs are coming through. Uh, the person who's applied for the most jobs also has the most rejections, but also the most interviews. So we have one person, 150 applications in. And uh, this week, there are five interviews uh, happening. This person's going through five interviews in parallel. Someone else has four interviews in parallel. Someone else has two interviews. A number of people are doing interviews with companies we connected them to. So there's some really good energy um, happening around applications. But to the surprise of absolutely nobody, uh, the people that are applying more are getting more interviews. So it's hard work. And the discussion on the other side is about dealing with the dealing with rejections. How do you not take it personally, um, but rather just think, OK, this is uh, its work. So with that, uh, let's jump in and want to hear from everyone on the call um, what you've been working on, what you achieved, uh, so what you want to, what you got done, what you're going to work on today, any blockers. And if anyone wants to add some flavor to that with uh, something interesting to share or something motivational, we would appreciate that as well in the spirit of making the community stronger. So I'll, I'm actually going to go first um, because I've been a little bit absent here. So what have I been working on? We're currently uh, working on how do we establish a team to help share the good news that's happening within the 10 Academy community and help um, establish our, our community as the carrier of our brand. So thinking about how do we uh, do that, what sort of brand do we want, and which help do we need on the team to, to get there. Um, so that's what I've been working on, what's coming up today. Um, I actually am, I have the majority of day, the day on phone calls, which I was trying to avoid, but 
One exciting thing that we have is we have a company that's interested in hiring 10 people from us. So trying to convert that opportunity, 10 of you guys, um, so trying to convert that opportunity into something concrete. And uh, any blockers? Um, I think no major blockers. It'd be great to have a little bit more time. And uh, actually, one of the greatest blockers that I have is just, I think, kind of fun and laughter and inspiration is gets a little bit difficult if you're by yourself. So that's it. And um, one word of inspiration for the community is, yeah, I think if you guys can keep up what you're doing for the next five months, we're super optimistic about uh, what you guys are going to be able to achieve. So that's from my side. Who wants to go first? Let's get our hands up. No power issues, no, Mohammed. I have absolutely no. Uh, the power issues here are heating issues. It's become people, you shouldn't heat your house because it's viewed as uh, bad for the geopolitical environment. But internet here is okay, power is okay. The problems here are more human um, because people in Germany don't want to work. So yeah, that's that's more of the problem here. So if you somebody says, and even if a company says they'll do something, it doesn't always work. So, yeah, They're different different sorts of problems. Um, okay, so I'm, nobody's put their hand up, so I'm going to call on people. Uh, so we'll go to Natnael Malese, Wangui, uh, Johannes, Jana Rose. So let's go. One minute per person, please. Okay. Uh, good morning. <clears throat> good morning. Uh, the past three days, like Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday were like the hardest week, the hardest days for me, like since I started uh, Ten Academy. Why? Like I was so behind, like I don't know what the problem with my computer or with the uh, stuff I'm trying to do, but nothing is actually working the way I wanted it to. So like... I'm so happy I to hear that. that. I'm really happy. If you I know had why? Okay. <laughs> because this is the difference between theory and practice, right? If you if you apply for a job and you say, "Look, I've I did a Coursera course on I I did a course on Airflow," when they ask you to actually use it, you would be stuck. But now you've actually done it, so I'm really happy. This this is why people say, you know, we want work experience. There's a huge difference between watching some expert do it online and doing it yourself. So it's great. I'm glad you struggled. Yeah, I, I get to learn a lot. Like I've I've been trying like what, four or five Airflow versions, like trying to uh, install each of them and uh, check if the if the one for what it works. Uh, but I got, luckily uh, I get it to work, I guess. But not uh, it's not working at the same time like as much as I wanted to. Uh, like if I add up like the hours I slept. I don't think it will add up to 10. You yeah. can sleep on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I only have 24 hours on Sunday. That's, that's the problem. 24 hours of sleep is pretty good. Yeah, but I'm pretty exhausted. Like, I'm drained. So uh, do, you, do you think it's worth... Do you think it would have been more smart to sleep six hours a night rather than trying to work 22 hours a day? Uh, I think sleep is more important. Like the getting rest is getting enough rest is the most important thing, and I believe that in biological sense and also in psychological sense. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you should do it. I mean, there's I, as strong as you might be, sleeping two to three hours a night probably means your next day is not that efficient. So I still think I know you guys are all a lot younger than me. But I would encourage everyone to sleep six to eight hours a night and to come up with a very strong routine to allow you to do that because your body is, uh, your body is the most important thing. So don't fool yourself into thinking that you'll stay up the whole night and be productive the next day. You guys are not machines. I'll, I'll try like, to rest like, when I get the chance. Especially, uh, yeah, I'll try my best to work on it, like on the problems I have. Uh, I'm I'm just afraid not to to be behind. Like uh, I'm afraid to be behind, like behind everybody. 
But That's remember, true. but remember, this is not a. The goal here is not to be first on the leaderboard. The goal is to understand what you're doing and to situate that in the real world. And sometimes, sometimes you need to sleep, and then you wake up, and then it kind of hits you. So you know, drop. Forget about this competitiveness. It doesn't matter. Uh, what's much more important is that you understand why, why are why how does the whole uh, data warehouse stack look, and how does it fit together, and where is it useful. So, yeah, I would strongly encourage anyone who's sleeping less than six hours a night to change their rhythm and sleep six hours a night. If you don't get, if you don't finish the project uh, this week, it's okay. Um, you have time afterwards to to catch back up. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right about that. Yeah, but yes, just in somehow like it wouldn't give my mind a rest, like knowing that I haven't done what I have to do. Like, that's the problem with me. So I want to share a story with you. We just had one of our alumni from a previous batch um, who was had a difficult moment because while working was faced with an impossible task because the manager asked for something impossible. And this person had always wanted to be among the best. And instead of realizing that the task was impossible and saying, look, I can't do it in two days, I need a full week, which actually would have been fine. The person tried to do it in two days and got uh, him or herself into a very bad um, situation and felt very bad about him or herself and decided to you know, not do this work anymore. So you need to, uh, you know, it's, it's a question of maturity to say, look, I, this is what I can manage, but you are thinking long-term, this week's leaderboard is only one indication, but it's, it's a very irrelevant uh, indication in the long-term. So be smart, be smart in the long-term. Don't worry about the day-to-day -day so much. Okay, I'll do that, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, Wangui. Hello. Hi, Wangui. Hi. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think my week has pretty much gone the same way. There was, um, I had to do a lot of soul searching yesterday. There were things I wanted to get done, I couldn't get done. Um, I, for me, I think um, I prioritized uh, the submissions. Uh, and I think, like, I made like a I like a bullet list of the things uh, to do and what to focus on and things I can and cannot do um, to better allocate my time. Uh, so going forward, I I hope to get um, I think airflow working properly because I don't I still don't think it's working properly. Um, but yeah, I plan to do a lot more reading. And I think to to get into testing of the software like, a lot earlier, because mm -hmm. I think I put that off too much, yeah. So I'm really happy to hear that you made this list. I would encourage you to not forget to write down questions you have or things you don't fully understand. Because when you're done, and when 15th of November, or is it the 12th of November, when the training finishes, it'll be very helpful for you to write that, to have that message to your future self, to say, these are the things that I don't fully understand or things that I'm curious about. So I would, you know, writing is a form of our ourselves uh, documenting our current consciousness. And it's basically a message to your future self. So write those things down would be my encouragement and so that you can remember which, which questions do you have. But I think it sounds like a good approach instead of the brute force approach of just sort of banging through every single thing to settle down and to say, this is what I'm gonna do and this is what I'm not going to do. And I would just encourage you to <clears throat> expand that by uh, writing these questions down to yourself. Okay. Johannes? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh... The previous uh, day was challenging for me uh, because uh, even the area that uh, you for which airflow and other uh, 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 is uh, new for me, uh, and uh, I lose uh, most of my time for installing 
those three tabs, uh, even uh, understanding those three tabs or window is more challenging for me. And uh, I lose most of my time on searching uh, different uh, materials uh, to install uh, those setup. Uh, finally, uh, I did uh, the setup. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, on the night, uh, I focus on the, the given assignment. Uh, I try to submit, but uh, at least I didn't focus on. Uh, I, I did focus on the submission rather than uh, uh, working the way. Uh, that was my challenge I faced in previous day. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. Um, so if maybe if people are having challenges, I haven't seen, well, I guess there is a lot of chat about specific challenges. Um, so if there are specific questions or if everyone is facing the same challenges then let's write them out on slack and let's tag uh, some of the tutors and maybe we can find a way to solve those challenges um, but let's yeah i hope people are working together to solve those challenges generos jane rose generos sorry i'm not sure how do you say your name properly uh, hi it's jane rose jane rose i'm gonna go watch uh, kipchoge running this weekend so let's hope he wins He's running in Berlin. I'll also be watching. <laughs> okay, but he's gonna pass. He's gonna pass near my house. So if you want, really? I can. Yeah, he's the marathon route passes my house, so I can cheer for him. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, so yesterday I worked on the careers exercise, mm -hmm. and well, I, I took a lot of looking back, uh, seeing where I've come from, and personally, um. I'm happy with the progress that I've made so far. Um, the technical exercises were challenging, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm trying to connect to the Postgres database. Uh, that is my current blocker. But hopefully by the end of the day, I'll be able to make that connection and upload my data to it. Excellent. Sounds good. Mohammed. Good morning. Uh, how is going? So uh, this week I tried to approach uh, the working uh, attitude uh, differently. So I start uh, familiarizing myself with the concepts and terms of uh, we this week, like airflow and so on. Uh, I make uh, a document and share it with the people here. And uh, so I make an action plan. To, to deliver the tasks and escalated the tasks. Uh, so what I faced was um, Docker slowed uh, my my uh, device very very well, very very hard. Um, uh, so uh, the second issue was power issues, of course. And uh, yes, I faced some problems with uh, addressing how to extract that and do some technical stuff and I uh, reached to Yididia and he helped me very much and I'm um, thankful for him. And I, I also uh, thank the community for helping me out. So uh, lastly, uh, I asked Yididia about some explanations in how uh, in, this, in the searching for answers uh, for this week. And he, he advised me, he gave me a lot of advices and we secondly, um so uh, lastly uh i managed to submit my github i didn't i missed uh, the technical uh the non-technical and career exercise i did my career exercise uh today morning and yeah that was the update from my side how's your optimism Mohammed? uh yes you could say i'm very optimistic about uh working uh, with ten academy because uh for, for a long time, I didn't uh, get what I want like this. Uh, what I want was dedicated project, dedicated real world project that involved me and put my hand on the real tools that I will be using in the, uh, in the career uh, journey. So I'm very, very optimistic, uh, even though uh, I'm not uh, proceeding and my marks are not very well, but I'm enjoying the, the journey. 
and, and, and learning very, very much. So I'm very happy to hear that. And I, I am especially happy to hear that uh, you recognize you're optimistic despite whatever feedback is given in the grades. The grades are, it's not a very good measure, but one of the reasons we do that is we realize without grades, then it's, it's the least worst measure that we've found. And hopefully in future, we find a better one, but the grades are, it's, it doesn't capture, um, there's so much that it doesn't capture very well. And I think uh, you've understood that. So I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Uh, it's, it's one of the KPIs that I measure my performance with. So it's, it's worked for me. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Uh, Gideon? Good morning. Good uh, morning. So I've been uh, trying to set up Airflow in DBT this, couple, this past couple of days. And I've been, I've been f facing a lot of problems with setting up Airflow, especially. Uh, using the docker compose file i think it's, it's just overwhelming my pc and uh every time i try to build the container my it just freezes my computer and i have to restart so that's one of the challenges i've been facing uh so other than that i've managed to set up dbt and run some tests but yeah i've i've been i've been very challenged with just the setup process for the that engineering tech stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think it's good that you're going through that process. And I, I don't know what the solution is for your particular PC, but I think in the years, this is in the years that we've been getting people to install Docker, everyone finds a way. And I think you need to be able to find a way to run Docker on your PC. So um, are you running Ubuntu or what are you running? No, it's Windows. I mean, uh, Docker, I have the Docker set up. It's just building it, it's just so, resource intensive that uh, I don't have like the like the, the raw power. My PC doesn't have the raw power to build it. So my my memory fills up and so on. It just yeah, it's, almost almost everyone that uh, had that problem it went it got better when they got off Windows and went to Ubuntu. I, I don't think like yeah I'll yeah, consider, so consider it, but I don't think that's uh, an option for me like in the short term but in the long term I think yeah I'll Definitely consider. Yeah, you can go for a dual boot setup. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, so if anyone can help Gideon, um, maybe reach out to him. Maybe Mohammed, you can reach out to Gideon and let him know how you solved your problem. Or whoever else has a weak PC. I'm sort of imagining Gideon with like a sounds like he has something really simple or that's uh, maybe a bit underpowered. So if anyone can reach out to Gideon and give him a hand, um, that would be appreciated. Uh, hello, Michael. Uh, good morning. Good morning. The last uh, three days, uh, I I spent all of my time in understanding the tools, and uh, I was reading about the the documents released in the resources channel, uh, and I think uh, yeah, and I installed dbt and flow uh, and i am playing with them that mm, uh, uh, had blockers but i i tried to communicate with my classmates and uh, most of the, the blockers are solved uh, uh, and also i managed to submit yesterday's uh, assignment and uh, Starting from today, I will continue on the rest of the tasks. Great. <clears throat> uh, so I'm very happy to hear uh, that you spent time trying to understand what these things are and what they do, because I think those uh, that understanding is useful. I hope you're taking notes for yourself so that you remember. And I would also encourage you to write down what you don't understand, um, because I think at least that's a technique I found useful for myself. Um, okay, so we have others, and they haven't put their hand up, so I'm just going to call on people. Gannett? Morning. Good morning, Gannett. Okay, uh, and yesterday in the past two days, uh, just like other cyclists on installations of the 
system. Uh, I, I'm working on window and uh, the Docker doesn't work. Go to Ubuntu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, today's morning, I, I decided to move to Ubuntu. I, I will try to back up my files. To yes. Everyone with the letter G in uh, in Ethiopia uses Windows. So Gedeon and Gannett also both yeah. use Windows. Yeah, most of the time it is. Uh, uh, it is uh, we are using uh, windows rather than that of ubuntu yeah that's why and it doesn't work at all the, the airflow is out the docker also i was uh, last night tried to install it but mm -hmm. finally it doesn't work that's why i decided to change my uh, environment from window to ubuntu i hope it will be better yeah, if you have any questions on how to do that, then I'm sure someone on the team and the community would be very happy to help you get rid of your Windows uh, machine. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will try to communicate them. That most of the people that was tried to support me yesterday, uh, but uh, the old suggestions which was uh, given to me doesn't work uh, for my PC. Uh, I hope. Uh, changing the environment is another solution. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to do that and I hope it will work for yeah. the final submission. Great. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Uh, not now. You want to, you have something to add? I think you went already, but do you want to go again? Uh, yeah, I just want to give some suggestions to Gideon that might work for him. Okay, so maybe you guys can uh, connect offline. But okay. even better, if you if you could use a public Slack channel, because I think every, the, your suggestions will probably be useful to other people as well. Yeah, thank you. Berha Berhanu? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, from my side uh, this week, uh, I got a lot of a problem uh, to set up uh, the tool that's given uh, for this uh, challenges mm -hmm. and uh, the tools also it's a uh, new for me most of that is a uh, new i have no experience with that uh, I, I was start to from installing the airflow and uh, postgres that was good i have uh, no uh, problem on that but when i i would come to the uh, dbt uh, there is a uh, i was face a lot of problem on that i was try many times and uh, a night in the day. At the end, I was rise on the Slack and ask on the stand up also yesterday. And uh, most of the community helps me. At the end, Edidia, he, he gives a good uh, advice and I was changing my environment. That was uh, good and I solved it. And also after afternoon, uh, after the session, I was uh, try to uh, manage the submission tasks. And I submit, I will submit the task on the time. And the day, there is a lot of tasks left. Today I've learned to work on that. And uh, I try to fix the problem that happened within the uh, setup. That's all from my side. Thank you. Yeah. OK, so it seems like a lot of challenges this week are around setup, which is fine. Um, as I said before, I'm recommending that uh, people consider Ubuntu. Um, but I'm also very happy that people are facing these challenges because this is the real world. We had somebody that we placed in a, from a previous batch, and this person spent two to three weeks just trying to figure out how to get... Uh, this person had a MacBook with an M1 chip, and it just didn't work with what the company had, and they had to find a workaround. But it seems like there was a something with that chip and what the company uh, was using, and they had to find a way around it. Okay, we'll go to Neo Mukiza and then to MT Nan. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah during this week, yeah, I, as Aga said, I was trying to understand the concept about uh, data warehouse and uh, data engineering. Yeah, uh, I managed to uh, read many sources and understand what is really uh, those um, uh, that 
uh, engineering tools and the worries uh, uh, that um, that our warehouse, how we can construct it, tools that can we can use. I also managed to submit on time, but uh, regarding the 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 implementation, I'm I'm facing same issues like others. Uh, I accidentally deleted some deleted some bashes on my files and i spent the whole night trying to fix the 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 issue but luckily now the computer is working and I'm, i started to install those uh, uh libraries that's it from my end thank you don't forget to sleep neil Mukiza. it's not a you're I, stuck you're I, feeling... slept, I, I slept just two three hours bad idea I, I don't recommend it. I know I sound yeah. like everyone's mother, but your mother is right. Sleep is sleep is good. Thank you. All right, Emtina. Uh, yes. Uh, good morning. Um, I uh, I faced the same problem as Gideon and Janet because mm. I also run Windows. Not for I long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, so and uh, I managed to install Docker after struggling with it. Uh, actually, I also, I this was not my first time. I had uh, actually tried actually in in two thousand nineteen, and I had documented my my experience. So I use that. Um, so I managed in the end, but I'm still struggling, of course, to set up uh, with installing the rest, uh, the needed apps um, used by this week's five. And I'm used to being late on tasks. I try to not to freak out and try to do just as much as I can by the end of the week. I'm not done. I'm never done, but I will just do my best. And um, I don't know. Uh, I understand now that we can finish these uh, projects after we're a week 12. So I'm writing everything down that I'm doing so that I will be able to just like um, um, just continue from what where I stopped. Anyway, this is my um, where I am right now. Great. Sounds positive. Um, Johans. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, seems like it's most of us are facing the uh, same problem. Mm -hmm. I was having a problem with setting up my uh, machine with regarding to Airflow and then DBT. I actually do have uh, an Ubuntu, but still I was uh, facing the challenge. So I have to almost re reinstall all the tools, including Docker, Airflow. And then uh, I've tried uh, just every solution that I got from the internet. I don't even know which one uh, make it work, but uh, finally it's uh, working now. And uh, hopefully the next challenge will be also solved. Uh, that's my, is my it, hope. Is it satisfying when it works? Yes, really, yeah. I, I almost was uh, breaking up on a, on Tuesday, I was very tired. I mean, tried everything. I think this week's challenge was really tough. Even I, I, I couldn't find solutions in a Stack Overflow. I mean, uh, we are only having, uh, we are going to specific topics. So people uh, don't just usually uh, provide a solution over the internet. So you have to really look for a very narrow scope. So when you just finally, uh, See, it, it works, so yeah, yeah, that's very satisfying. So I have a question for, so nobody else has their hand up, so instead of picking on people, I want to just ask a different question uh, for a couple of minutes. So can somebody explain to me why we're doing this challenge and how, how it could be useful when you go out uh, and join the world of work? So if you look at the tech stack that we're asking you to build, um, why is it useful? What can you do with the tools that we have? Maybe it's an experience, so we are uh, passing through the challenge, so we are familiarizing ourselves with the tools and uh, the challenges they, they do have, I think. 
No, but think of it from think of it from a business perspective. So with the tools that you're using, so Airflow, um, Postgres, DBT, um, you can use all these tools. What can a business actually achieve with these tools? So Margaret? Hi. Um, I think that building a data warehouse for that you can use for different businesses can help businesses better manage their data. Considering um, so many data is always being collected on a daily and they can store it on their hard drives or in their computers and they also need an easier way to for them to access as well as for their customers to to access the data so building a data oh. warehouse will help fix that mm. <clears throat> yeah anyone else Mohammed? I think um, the objective of uh, doing those type of projects is to, familiar, to familiarize ourselves with the uh, with the challenges that we will face in the work environment. So we'll have we'll have like a um, a routine or a, an attitude to, to solve problems when we are facing them. Yeah. Anyone else? We'll take one more. Margaret? I, I'm not so sure, but I think that using um, open source uh, tools to build a data warehouse will also save a lot of money for businesses. Mm. Other clouds are expensive to host their data. Yeah. Okay, so I, I think Mohammed and Margaret are right, but I mean, just to put this in perspective, we're trying to get you uh, to give you the full suite of tools that you can use to actually set up a data warehouse for a company and or to jump into an existing data warehouse that a company has and to do something useful with it. So data acquisition, data storage, and uh, initial analytics together with pipeline building, these are all parts of the puzzle that you're, you're likely to experience. But by doing it all yourself and not just talking about it, but actually doing it and understanding how they fit together and being able to operate it, it means that you are able to, um, if a company was to come to you and say, look, I, I want to do part of this or all of this, it means that you have the expertise to actually build a proper industry grade uh, data warehouse in a week. And so in a week is probably too quickly to do it um, at you know you haven't tested it you haven't documented it there's more that you need to do but don't forget you know in the mid in the midst of docker challenges airflow challenges dbt challenges what we're trying to get you to do is to do at very small scale the entire end-to-end -end, uh, data warehouse flow which could be used in industry and i think that's uh, part of what we you should not be forgetting airflow is a very big uh, tool you can use it at really big scale, but you can also use it at small scale. DBT is the same thing. Postgres is the same thing. So don't forget that for those of you who will be pursuing a data engineering track, even if Docker is not working perfectly, understanding how these tools fit together, what they're used for, why we use these tools, um, and the advantages and disadvantages of Airflow versus, I think there's a competitor called Airplane, why dbt versus looker versus you know, there's hundreds of tools um understanding that and what they're used for those are really good discussions to be having and when you're awake for some reason at four in the morning when you should be sleeping um i actually think it's better to go to sleep so that in the morning you can wake up and think okay i have a i have a sense of why am i uh, how can this be useful when i get into the world of work and for those of you who haven't seen the first Karate Kid, go watch that movie. Watch it on the weekend, watch it on Sunday, because there's this great scene where there's this, uh, the Karate Kid, it's from the 80s. He's like busy, he's tired because his uh, sensei is, 
is making him do all this hard work painting, cleaning, and he just doesn't understand why. And then he puts it all together and then he explains to him that he's not actually just teaching him to paint the fence or wash the car, but he's teaching him karate. And so don't forget that you're not here just to get a grade, but you're here to learn how, um, which parts of the data engineering tech stack are useful and you'll be surprised, uh, I hope you'll be surprised, or I hope, actually I hope you won't be surprised that the stuff that you're learning now is actually practically useful. DBT is useful, Airflow is useful, databases are useful, Docker is really useful. Johannes? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, I have uh, just like suggestion uh, for uh, Ten Academy. Uh, my question is, uh, it is better uh, if you inform it us uh, before uh, starting the challenge, the setup of the, the tools required. Because uh, uh, from my side, I lose most of my time on installing those uh, setup. So it is better to announce uh, the tools before starting the challenge. This is uh, my suggestion. Thank you. Okay, no, that's that's well noted. So maybe let me go on record and say everyone should install Ubuntu. I thought um, if we didn't make that clear, then let's make that clear now. People should move to an Ubuntu environment. But my one counterpoint I have, Johannes, is we we tell a lot of people a lot of things, and the majority of people don't listen to us. So I mean, there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff that we say that afterwards people are like, ah, I didn't read it or I didn't believe it or I didn't know. So, I mean, we can we can keep adding more and more recommendations, but the reality is unfortunately a lot of people just don't don't listen or they don't read or they're too busy doing other stuff. Empty none? Uh, yes, I have a question about this moving to Ubuntu point. Uh, yeah. If you don't mind. Yes, so what are the drawbacks of uh, making this move? Don't we use, don't we need to use Windows for I don't know for what for something like, like what uh, I don't know when when uh, I mean when doing a, let's say let's say we want to do a job for some company wouldn't we need mm. to use Windows for something? But for what? I don't know if some companies use Windows, like, like this is their system no, but, they but, use. No, but give, so, give me a specific example. To what, what do you want to do on Windows that you can't do on Ubuntu? Uh, I really don't know. I'm just interacting with other, uh, I don't know, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm dealing with the, with the whole company that uses a, a Microsoft to, uh, system, <laughs> What uh, is this is so, kind of problem? I, I really don't know. I'm asking you. Just but you already know, you already know how to use can. Windows, right? I mean, now you you know how to use Windows. Yeah. Yes. There's yes. nothing else to learn. Okay. Um, so your email is your email is going to be Gmail. Your documents you can do on Google Docs or Office 365 or whatever it is. So the move to the cloud is kind of complete. Yeah, uh, so. I, I already use that, but <laughs> the thing is, uh, I'm just like I'm maybe having an anxiety of not having a, win a Windows machine at all. It's, uh, I, I, I hear you completely. I, I I I use Windows all the time, and I would feel strange leaving it. You can start with a dual boot setup, and a dual boot setup you can choose Windows or Ubuntu at startup. But uh, I think most people find that you know it, it's a, it's a bit funny. It's like moving to a different country and then you realize you can find everything you need. But I mean, in t unless you can give me a reason of one specific thing that you'll miss in a Windows environment, then it's probably, you guys are here because you want to work in the field of AI or Web3. You're not here to be, to be secretaries or marketers or designers. You guys are here to, be, uh, to write code. So let's be realistic. Code yeah. is better written in the Mac environment or on the Ubuntu environment. And to Patrick's point okay. about the oh. UI, oh, all right. look, Patrick, you, can, you, can't, you can't have everything. Patrick is saying Windows is good for users because of the nice UI. Maybe, but you can't have everything. So if you want to program, then you know it's 
it's like having a tool that works well for you. Mohammed? Uh, so okay. what about the, the learning journey uh, that we have to, to do in order to, to travel to Ubuntu? I don't think it's that difficult. And I think it's pretty well documented. And the tools that you're using are, I mean, so I've, I've seen this happen batch on batch. People, it, Ubuntu looks scary. I mean, I'm, I, I, I have the same worries, right? I kind of think my laptop is starting to act funny. And somebody was saying, you know, a, you should consider not a Windows PC. And I always, I've been using Windows PCs since I was, uh, I only use Windows. And so even just to move to a Mac would be weird, but if you got to do it, you got to do it. So, ah, it's hot seat time. Sorry, I forgot about the hot seat. Um, okay, so let's wrap up. And Emilia, and I'm going to hand over to you for the hot seat. And then we're going to do interviews uh, starting in 10 minutes. So I, I overran. I forgot about the hot seat. So. I'm going to drop off and I'll come back uh, to the interviews. Thank, thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you very much, Arun. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are good. So, as we have just a little time, give me a sec. Okay, we just have a little time. Let me welcome our host of today. Um, Mohammed, are you here? If you're able to put on your video, that would be fine. He's here, he's ready for the questions. So let's become questions in the chat box. Let's just make it because we don't have much time. We have another session, just a few minutes. You can use like less minutes, like maybe eight or seven. So questions in the chat box, please. Or maybe if you want to speak, I will also give you a chance, but I would rather um, prefer, I would prefer a question in the chat box. So let's use the chat box more. Thank you. So the first questions. Uh, try to be gentle. Questions, questions, questions in the chat box. Maybe people are typing. Before we receive any question, how are you, Mohammed? How is it? I'm doing good. Uh, I hope that that the answer that the stand up 